Luke, Tom, and Nate here with the Catfish and Carp YouTube channel, and we are doing the 50 pound bluegill challenge. That's right. Today, we're gonna see if we can catch 50 pounds of bluegill. Are you guys ready? Yeah. So we're staying here at the Westlake Motel on Smith Mountain Lake here in Virginia, and they've got this big, huge dock here, and there are tons and tons of bluegill around. So the rig I'm using is the Ugly Stick GX2 Ultralight with the Fluger President. I really love these Fluger Presidents. They're a fabulous little reel. I've got four pound mono on there. And then I have a teeny tiny number 12 Eagle Claw hook. And up here I have a weighted foam bobber. I've got about four and a half dozen night crawlers that I'm gonna be using as bait here. And I've got a cooler to keep them from going bad. And this right here is my keep net. So you can see here, this big old long net. I'm gonna put this in the water and use it to store the bluegill I catch so that I can weigh them up. And we're gonna see if we can't fill this giant keep net with 50 pounds of bluegill. So I've got the keep net set up here on this little post and uh, we're gonna be chucking all of our fish in there so we can weigh them. <laughs> there we go. There we go, our very first customer of the day is a very, very tiny one. It is gonna be a long day if we gotta get 50 pounds one of these fish at a time. I need to find myself some bigger bluegill. This is gonna, this is gonna be a long day. <laughs> oh, look at the cute little baby thing. Every little bit counts. Another teeny tiny one. If you wanna go fishing for bass, man, these are perfect live bait size. This is actually a green sunfish and not a bluegill, but we're gonna count any panfish. These little guys are killing me. I need some bigger bluegill. There we go. Oh, it's the biggest one of the day. Oh. Look, look at that. I got another one. You guys are fishing under the dock? That's smart. I, I got a really good spot. There we go. Tommy, Tommy, you got a bite. Got a little tiny green sunfish. Oh! Nathan, you got one? Yeah. Nice. Oh, bass. look at it. Oh, look at it. Nice bass. Nathan, I think that's the biggest green sunfish we've caught all this morning. Oh, there we go. Jeez, that's another great green sunfish. That's what I call a big boy. There we go. Now both of you guys are catching green sunfish and they love to live in rocks. They like to live close up to shore, kind of like bass do. So you'll catch more bluegill if you go deep and you'll catch more green sunfish if you go in the rocks. There we go. Little bluegill. Oh, there we go. Yo, you gotta be, you're, 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 pick him up. Oh, oh, he's getting away, he's getting away. Put him in the net. Good job. There you go. I got a little thing of white bread here. I'm sprinkling some sprinkles here. You see this, look at it. See, look at all those fish are just going nuts for it. There we go. Oh, that's, there we go. There's a nice one. Oh, big old boy. Look at all those bluegill down there. Oh, oh, oh. oh. I hurt my ribs. Oh. So we're starting to get dialed in. I found that they really love the white bread, but it doesn't stay on the hook very well. So what I'm doing is I'm chumming them with the white bread to get them excited and concentrated, and then putting a little bit of worm down there to catch them. Daddy, daddy. There we go, there's one. Daddy. Oh, look at that, I got one. Oh, there we go. Oh, nice big one. There we go. Nice palm-sized bluegill, the first decent one. Look at, look at this. Oh, look at this beauty. Look at that. Look at that big boy. That'll help. There you go. The tears are kind of working. They're attracting fish. Oh, look at that big one. Finally found some big ones. Look at that. Big old bull bluegill. Put him in there. You got one? Oh, yeah. Look at that little green sunfish. Okay, now we're clicking. There was. There we 
There we go, tiniest one ever. Tom, you got one? Yeah, a little green sunfish. Yeah. Was a little bigger than the last one. Nice. A little green sunfish. In we go. Are nice. You, nice fish? green sunfish. That's what I love about them. They're so easy. You looking for bluegill? Yeah. So I can find bluegill and catch it. Okay. That's why you have your life vest on. You need help? Yeah. Now well, let's see. We go hook in there. Good job. Can you put them in the net? Well, having the boys fishing with me it has been a mixed blessing. Uh, they have caught some nice fish, but I've been untangling and unsnagging a lot of hooks. <laughs> gotta re rig this entire rod. <laughs> there you go, but you gotta. Bye, Daddy. You gotta hold on tight to that, okay? There's a green sunfish, buddy. Oh, that's a big green sunfish. Look at this one. Look at that. Well, those bluegill are getting a little hook shy over there, so we're gonna move on to another spot and see if we can't find another school of them that uh, willing to bite. That's a great spot right there, Tom. Oh, I can see one going for it. Oh, we got it. Get go. Oh, I set the hook. Reel in. Reel in. Yeah, it was a big green sunfish. I saw him take it. Big chomper. Oh, right there. Another, another green sunfish. Yep, little green sunfish. We got two out of three rods out of commission here, so that's slowing us down. You got them. I got this. Nice, here. Reel in this one. There we go, another one. Oh, yeah. It's been a couple hours and I have no clue how many fish we have, but it's time for lunch. So we're going to take a little break, weigh up the fish, kind of see where we're at, and uh, then go grab some lunch. All right, you ready? Yeah. All right. Nine and a half pounds. Let them get away. Oh my goodness. Whoa! No. Get away, get away, get away. That is no a lot of fish. Okay, let's get them back. Let's get them all up back in there. I have two, three. Okay, that was a real rough count. We came up with 36, but I think there was some double counting going there, so we're gonna round up to 40 because I think that's a better estimate of what happened. All right, so nine and a half pounds and 40 fish for the first couple hours of the challenge. Let's go get some lunch. Yep, yeah, that's, that's the thing with TV. You just you watch whatever's on, it's, you don't get to choose. Yeah, they are. There we go, another green sunfish. Little green sunfish. Oh, nice bluegill. That's the size we need right there. You got one? It was just Hold them here. Still, right? oh. Yeah, nice, nice double. Bluegill and green sunfish. There we go, green sunfish. You got one? Yeah. There we go, Nathan's got one. Fish attack! Fish attack! There we go! Oh, there we go. Oh, beautiful dark green sunfish. There we go. Nice green sunfish. Panfish are attacking Nathan! Panfish are attacking Nathan? Well, my fishing spot has two very noisy boys in it, so I'm gonna go down here. There we go. Oh no, it is a big fish. Yeah, that one looks dangerous. You might want to just cut your line. There we go. 
Well, if little boys are gonna be in my fishing hole, I might as well join them. Oh. I'm tired of swimming back to rebate my hook, so I'll just store my bait somewhere. <laughs> See? Keep my worms fresh. Well, you guys having fun? Yeah. <laughs> no, another tiny little guy. There we go. Now that is what we were looking for. Nice bluegill. Right, there. Uh oh, you caught a turtle. I wanted to. I'm all landed. These things are moving. Yeah. There you go. We're lucky. We got him on the Over here, what? There we go, bluegill. There we go. Nice green sunfish. There we go. Yeah. Check it out. It's a pirate fish. He's only got one eye. Oh. You notice he's got a peg leg too. No, you didn't see that? At eye mouth. There we go, another bluegill. There we go. It's getting a little late, so we're gonna eat some dinner, and before we go, we're gonna count up and weigh up our fish here and see what we got. You ready, Nathan? Yeah. Well, this one looks like eight and a half pounds. Ready? All right, let's count them. One, two, three, four. Okay, 41. There we go. These two are dead, so we're gonna keep these for some catfish bait tonight. My math is correct, that puts us at 81 bluegill at probably just a hair under 18 pounds. Now, my scale is not exactly 100%, but this is just for fun anyway, so that scale's got to be a little off or I'm picking up a lot more water weight in the in the keep net than I anticipated but uh, I think my scale's a little bit on the high side so <laughs> but we've got 81 bluegill we'll just keep going and see what happens well I came here today hoping to do like 50 pounds of bluegill but I grossly underestimated how tiny bluegill are and I'll be lucky if I do half of that weight uh, but I am darn close to getting 100 panfish in one day and so that's kind of my new goal i'm going to see if i can pop 19 more fish here before the sun sets and catch 100 panfish in one day that's that is kind of cool and if i'm lucky i might get over 20 pounds of fish today as well and that would be kind of cool okay no problem but i gotta rig up these rods okay it'll be a little few seconds now inevitably there's somebody out there who's going to think i'm cheating because I have Tommy and Nathan helping me out here. Anyone who thinks that is obviously not a parent. These other two rods I'm using are both from Zedco. They're rod and reel combos. It's the Dock Demon and the Dock Demon Deluxe. They're pretty similar, but the Dock Demon is like six inches longer. They're about 15 bucks, give or take $5. Uh, you can get them at Walmart, Amazon.com. I'll put links in the description, but these are great little rods for this sort of thing. And they're great for kids because they're just a lot easier to handle. Oh, look at that. Good cast, Tom. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah, look at that. Nice bluegill, Nate. These little but he counts. Don't pee in the... What do you need help with? Yeah. 
There's another one. There we go. There we go, another bluegill. Well, I know I'm getting close to 100, but I don't have an exact count. So I hope I can beat the clock because that sun is getting really low. I tried. I tried to place it. Nice little green sunfish. There we go, there's another one. Oh, you got one, Tom. Excellent. That might be the smallest green fish we have caught all day, but it counts. This is like sending a juvenile to adult prison. Play nice, guys. Oh, you got one? All right, there we go, a little green sunfish. Good job, Tom. Oh, we got a fish? Oh my, that might be the biggest one. Oh, oh. oh, he got away. Oh, got away. The there we go, green sunfish. Hey, there you go. Oh, Tommy, you got one? Awesome. Well, isn't that a pretty fish? He went, he he went all the way to the bottom. Yeah. I just oh, we got a double. Got Tommy caught one too. There you go, two fish. You're doing a great job hey, setting the hook. I got the hook. You got one? There we go. Another little green sunfish. He's on the hook, so there we go. There we go. There we go. Right there. Watch you oh. cast. These little guys are great little catfish like and bass bait. There's another one. Like Tommy, you're tearing it up, man. You guys are finally focusing. Nathan's falling asleep though. Nice one. Please don't step on my hook. Nice one, not all dinks. That's a nice one. Double. You got one here? I got one too. You got one too? In stereo. Look at that nice little double treble. Here, hold yours. Oh, there's a nice one. Look at that. All right, there's a little one. I think this should be our last one. I want to catch some more. You want to catch some more? Yeah. All right, go catch some more. What's not? What do you got? Oh, bring him in, bring him in. Beautiful. Last bluegill of the day. Let's see if we've got enough. That says five pounds. Well, I think we did it. Okay, one, two. 30, 31, 32, and Tommy, you got one? Yeah. And Tommy just caught one. And that's 34. Well, I know our counting was flawed for the first batch, but based on the numbers I have, we have 81 plus 34, that's 115 fish that we caught today. Now we'll go back through the video and I'll get a more precise count, but that's still a lot of stinking fish. And Tommy's not done. This is 117 he just caught while I'm sitting here filming. Well, we came here hoping to catch 50 pounds of bluegill and instead we caught more like 20, but we landed over 100 bluegill in one day. And I'm proud of that. Maybe if I could find a place where there's bigger, bigger bluegill, we might take another crack at the 50 pound bluegill challenge. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see our other fishing challenge videos, we have a whole playlist of them. And don't forget to click subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday morning. Thanks for watching, guys. Smash this way! Nailed it.